Here's Agar. Two slips in for Harmer, who works that down to long leg and will collect four runs because long leg is very wide, George Garrett, and that's gone very fine. And so the first boundary of the morning is delivering. That one's swatted away. It's got, I can't see there's a window away, but it is a six. Slapped away fairly disdainfully by uh, Matt Critchley over long on. Gilchrist has dropped it short and it's been pulled away for four. And that is given the beans and that has gone <laughs> oh, just for four. As Gilchrist is in again and that is pulled away again but just evades the fielder at mid wicket and it's another boundary, another four runs added to the total and they are motoring along now. As Gilchrist is in again and that is edged and runs down to third man for is that a boundary? I think it I think it Is there someone down there? there? I thought there was someone running down. As Denley comes in once again. Oh he's beaten him and he's gone. Has he stumped him? Yes, yeah, he, he him. has. That is Harry nice Finch. work from Harry Finch indeed. Jaden Denley has a first class wicket. Gilchrist is in again. That's back of length and he has swung away at that and I think that's gone all the way. Yeah. Six runs. And another six. Gilchrist is in again. Again it's short and pulled away for four runs this time. A couple of bounces out to the leg side. And my forehead is getting pink. That one's slapped away. That's going to be a boundary I think as well. Can't see it but it's gone. It's gone, it's gone away towards a deep mid wicket boundary. Pretty nice pitch for batting. As he's in again and that is slog swept out to the leg side boundary for four runs told in the boundary and that has found the gap on the boundary Parkinson in again and is that Critchley here's Denley in again shorter and quicker worked behind square by Critchley and he picks up his 150th run from 211 deliveries the Essex run rate is just a shade under 4.7 for all situations as Denley is into Snater and Snater goes long, high and into the members area, into the pavilion with a maximum. Another six for Essex, 527 for seven. In that game yesterday for Lancashire, as Porter's in once again, drops that one short and it's pulled around the corner by Compton behind square and he picks up four runs, ten without loss. Snater's just strayed down the leg side there. And Compton has flicked that off his legs for four. Sort of lopey sort of approach that he has. Into Mie. Mie on the drive and he'll pick up four for that one as well. Down to the long off fence. Nicely struck shot. On the walk again slightly. Ball into Tawanda Mie. Oh, he's let that one go and he's out LBW. He has a good look behind him. Retains his pose. Just to check whether he was outside the line whether that's a misjudgment well it is the latter it's a misjudgment he's let one go it's thudded into the front pad Danny Bell Drummond just chops that one away backwards it's actually going to go all the way I think because there's a very fast outfield there I can't see there's a stand in the way is he going to haul it in they run three it's Harmer wheeling away comes into Bell Drummond who comes down the pitch this time and drives along the ground through the hands of Simon Harmer all along the ground and he picks up a very rare boundary and bit more intent from Bell Drummond there, Daniel Bell Drummond, and a leg slip in as well. And Bell Drummond swats that one away down to Cow Corner and picks up four runs. That's a safe shot, even though it was aerial. It's a safe shot because mid wicket's right back on the fence and miles away from that one. So two boundaries in that over. And that's flicked off his legs, just down to fine leg for a four. Uh, as Beard comes in. Bell Drummond has driven that back past the bowler at the far end. I think that is going to go all the way to the ropes this time. Nice straight drive towards the long boundary. Nicely timed by Daniel Bell Drummond. Very efficient use of uh, energy there as well. Trotted through for the single. Didn't really need to. This is cracked away. Cut nicely through the gap. Past cover by uh, Daniel Bell Drummond. And that's going to be hauled back in. It is indeed. It is neatly done. There is a ripple of applause, which is Daniel Beldrum's 50, just as he did in the second innings last week as well. He slapped that one away nicely. That's not going to get caught. That's right through the covers. Disdainfully slapped almost. Short pitched from uh, from Beards and away for four. Critchley, and once again, this one is 
pitched up and has pulled away. I'm not sure it's going to be. It is going to beat the fielder all the way to the uh, deep new wicket boundary. Well, Drummond, that's a seventh four for him, especially on this surface. That's short and pulled away by Compton in the air over the head of the man at mid wicket, who is Matt Critchley, and it goes away for four runs. And in he comes. It is uh, <coughs> Andrew Drummond's strike. Just work this away into the leg side. It's not actually has just trotted through for a single it's coming in again to Compton and that's cut away through the offside and it looks like that will run for four and that's his 50 and this time played off the back foot through the offside and that's a lovely shot it's just trickling away to the boundary but it will get there back now reverse sweep from Ben Compton it's over the, the diving Michael Pepper, that's going to race all the way to the boundary as well. I don't think the field is going to get there. It is another four runs. <laughs> this is it. a reverse sweep by Ben Compton again. He's going to get another four. That was, he got a lot more of that one. It was a lower. Ben Compton made his ground and the ball missed anyway. This one's cracked away through legs. I'll bet Daniel Bell drumming through mid wicket all the way to the boundary as well. It's another four for Daniel Bell Drummond. In comes Beard. This one's just carved away nicely down towards the boundary I think it might actually get all the way, it has he's picked up another boundary, just chopped past uh, well, a vacant gully delivers to Bell Drummond, this one is cut away nicely through point is that going to run away, he's got one, he's got two he's not going to make the boundary, is he going to try and push for a third, he is going to try and push for a third you know, and he's going to get back for a third <laughs> a dive from Ben Compton to make his ground Daniel Bell Drummond brings up back to back centuries the plethora of fielders get ready around the bat and that is swept away very nicely and that will go for four. Just dropped a little bit short from Harmer and... Back of his waistband in, drops that one a little bit shorter and Bell Drummond just hoicks that one away to Cow Corner. Umpire unsure whether that's gone out there on the full. He seems to be favouring. I think it might well be as Critchley is in. Oh, that's a full toss and I think that might get similar treatment as well and that disappears away to the same area but ironically, even though it's a full toss, this one only goes for four <laughs> rather than six. As Critchley's in once again, that's short and pulled away by Compton, rocked back into his crease and pulls it away wide of mid-wicket and picks up four runs. Critchley in again, slower, and that's down the leg side, and that's pulled down to the long leg boundary this time by Compton. So a couple of freebies given up by Matt Critchley there. Ben Compton has worked his way along. Around the wicket, and pulled away by Compton again, and might just be cut off. Well, it's got the man at mid-wicket interested, but a despairing dive is beaten, and three boundaries in the over for Compton. He goes to 87. Here's Harmer in and bowling to Bell Drummond, who takes one step down the ground and deposits him over the top of Long On. And that has gone all the way for six runs. That tells you the confidence. In it comes from Wesley, carved away. He is going to do it. He's going to... I'm not sure he's going to get to the rope, is it? He's got a diving, tumbling stop. Either way, he's got his hundred off the last ball of the day. 